What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dead on Dave and I'm here with another uh, Daily Focus. I'm going to do a full on Smackdown review a little bit later on with Jeff Huffman. But uh, before I did that, I wanted to talk about a few things. Just real quick, a couple wrestling related items that I thought people would dig on. First, even the most cynical wrestling fans right now have to look at this week and be pretty friggin' happy with what we saw. We had a really, really strong Raw. You know, it wasn't the greatest Raw in the world, but it was a good Raw. It was interesting. It was watchable. There was a lot of stuff to build from. It was a good show. NXT, off the friggin' charts again. Even Main Event. Main Event was really, really strong. It was solid. It had a great uh, Charlotte versus Sasha Banks matchup. That was really great. Uh, NXT, you got... The Ascension and Hideo Tommy and Finn Balor. There was good matches all over the place. It was really solid. I was happy with that. And then SmackDown. SmackDown, after reading reviews, I was like, eh. And then I watched a show I just finished. And it was a really good SmackDown. It was well built. Edge and Christian were really funny. And I'll get into the SmackDown review a little bit later. Two things I wanted to talk about. Uh, first and foremost, uh, The Ascension. I want to talk about the Ascension real quick. They they showed another vignette, another uh, promo from the Ascension, and this one changes things for me because they directly reference both Legion of Doom and Demolition and how they are in that same vein. That changes things for me. That makes me like Ascension even more because okay. We know what we're doing. We understand this is how we're packaging these guys, and this is exactly what we're going for. And I'm not so sure the WWE does not need a New Age uh, a demolition or Legion of Doom. I think we need something like this. Just a couple of ass kickers who are just, they're not going to fuck around. We need a dominant tag team. And say what you want about both demolition and LOD. That's what they were. They were ass kickers. They, there were no frills. There were they were excitement because they just they had they had cool costumes and just beat the shit out of people. Well, guess what Ascension's doing? They wear cool costumes and they beat the shit out of people. You know, um, they had a, a pretty solid squash match on SmackDown with a couple of local indie guys, uh, or who knows who they. I'm sure that's exactly what they were. It was local guys, and it, what they didn't. They showcased more in this match than they did against Miz and Mizdow. Uh, I was pretty surprised with it, and it, they look really good. These guys know how to go. Uh, they're good, good wrestlers, and I think that uh, they're not changing them too much from what they were down in NXT, except there's a little bit of paint and some badass little gear. And other than that, it's the same Ascension. And does that mean they might scream a little bit more, be a little more like LOD and... Uh, Demolition? Sure, but I don't have a problem with that. So I'm all about the Ascension right now. I'm, I have some high hopes for him. And with the emphasis that I'll talk about this on the, on the review, they put a lot of emphasis on tag team wrestling. There are quite a few tag teams on this week's episode, and it makes me wonder, hey, maybe the tag team division is not completely dead. You know, uh, We saw the Usos. We saw the Dust Brothers back together. Uh, we haven't really seen them. We've seen them in tag team action in the last couple of weeks. New Day will be coming back. Los Matadores. Uh, th there are a few ma uh, a few teams, uh, and maybe most prominently amongst them is uh, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. They look like they have a direction, and uh, maybe it wasn't just a random stupid pairing. These guys are getting over with the crowd just because they're so damn good in the ring. And I know Joe Cronin wants to kill. Uh, <laughs> Tyson Kidd for stealing his hashtag fact, but the re ridiculous the, the 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 reality is uh, it's working, and I like this pairing. I love the Cesaro swing into the drop kick, absolutely love it, and the finisher that they're doing, the um, the blockbuster off the top rope is really cool too. Uh, it it harkens back to old school tag team finishers, and I really really enjoy it. So, uh, and I like Natty's little presence in there too. She kind of looked like a hooker on this week's episode of SmackDown, which I don't mind. Natty's very pretty, but she had like lipstick on her teeth and stuff. They got to clean that shit up because obviously that's not who Natty is. You know, she's, she's not that type of girl, girl, um, very beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but she's not the girly girl type. So they got to figure that part out of it. 
but her trying to go for the high fives and the hugs and them hugging each other is hysterical. It's it's really good. It's a good gimmick. But the bottom line is they can go. So with them and the Ascension and all of this, I think the tag team division could be in line for another little bit of an upswing. We had it a few months ago, and then it went to shit, and now it looks like it could be going up again, uh, which is a good thing. I'm really excited about that. The other thing I want to talk about, the other major thing from SmackDown I want to talk about before I get to the review with Jeff Huffman in a little bit is I think Roman Reigns has finally won me over uh, as far as maybe he's not as far away as I thought he was. Since he's come back, and especially in the last two weeks in particular, I feel he's just had strong performance after strong performance, and he worked a really good match with Rusev in the main event tonight. Uh, on SmackDown, it was really, really solid match, both from both guys. They both wrestled really well, but the way Roman is moving, the way he's hitting moves, the way he's uh, navigating the ring, he's he's looking really good. Uh, did he gild the lily a little bit, lifting up the table at the end and throwing it on Big Show? Sure, but I'm not gonna let that ruin stuff for me. And Give credit to the Big Show, who had a really good match earlier on with Ryback that I don't think anyone was expecting. And I'm sure a lot of people who hate Big Show, well, because he's easy to hate and hate Ryback because another guy, oh, I hate big guys, uh, um, aren't going to give that match credit. But it was actually a pretty decent matchup, and I'll talk more about that later. Uh, but I like the interaction right now between Big Show and, and uh, Roman Reigns. Everything Roman Reigns is doing right now is is positive it's positive stuff it's really good and his in-ring work is cleaned up it looks a lot better this this hernia is probably the best thing maybe it was just a hernia and in reality he went to go train with somebody you know who knows but he looks way better than he did before uh the mic stuff they're keeping him away from a microphone which is not a terrible idea he'll get more comfortable you got to assume that eventually that will catch up but Roman Reigns, I think right now his stock has got to be pointing straight up. So what do you guys think of that? Do you think, Am I completely off base with Roman Reigns here, or do you see the same thing as I'm saying? What about the Ascension? Do you, With them coming out and doing a complete acceptance of the Legion of Doom ripoff stuff, does that help sell them to you a little bit more, or are you still not buying them? Or were you buying them from the beginning? I'd like to know. I'd like to know what you guys think about it. Leave your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. And uh, as always, thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate it. We're at 240 subs as of today. We're getting closer to that 500 sub goal. And once we get there, remember, because of our unboxing videos, make sure you go watch that as well. New one I put up yesterday, my daughter and I unboxing the arcade block for December. Once we get to... 500 subs we'll be doing a big giveaway where we're taking random items from all of the blocks that we open and throwing them into one box and sending them to one lucky subscriber make sure you guys are supporting that make sure you're you're subbing subbing and let me know some of the items that you want to see in that giveaway block because i'm not the there's nothing that i'm married to i will give away some cool stuff so uh, just let me know what you guys uh, think about what's going on with the channel in general so other than that I think I want to wrap this up. Quick little video. Just wanted to say what's up and give you a couple of my thoughts on a few things. Okay? So you guys take it easy. Have a good day. And we'll see you later at the SmackDown review. Hope I don't die because Germany is having a fucking blizzard right now. My God. It's no Mageddon. Ah, freak out. Everyone panic. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.